Hello. Hi, everybody. So welcome to the uh, 2010 School of Information Theory. Um, the reason why I'm here standing in front of you is that uh, I'm wearing two hats. First <laughs> is uh, uh, the hat of uh, the co-director of the Communication Science Institute of the Electrical Engineering Department of USC. Uh, and my second hat is uh, as the VP of the IEEE Information Theory Society. So I'm also representing Frank Shishang, uh, who couldn't join us. Uh, so as a faculty member at uh, USC, uh, I would like to point out uh, the deep connection of this place to our field. As we all know, everything started with Shannon, and the seed planted by Shannon 60 years ago uh, have grown incredibly strongly, healthy, and has, have produced many fruits. And some of those fruits are here. Uh, Irving Reed, Reed Solomon Coates, Sol Golomb, shift register sequences, Lloyd Welch, the forward backward algorithm, among other things, and of course, Andy Viterbi, uh, who uh, gave his name to our School of Engineering. So now, wearing my other hat of um, Information Theory Society Vice President, I would like to extend special thanks to uh, the co-chairs of this school, Aileen Jenner and Gero Kramer, uh, to Michelle Efros and Tracy Ho for the program, to Alex Dimakis and Mike Neely for local arrangements, to Sriram Vishwanath uh, for finance, and Matthew Block for the web. And of course, our generous sponsors uh, that I will not name because I didn't learn them by heart. And I had. <laughs> and of course, a super special thanks to our lecturers, Emmanuel Candes, Andrea Goldschmidt, Alan Orlitsky, Rudiger Urbanke, Sergio Verdu, and Jack Wolf, who is uh, uh, the 2010 Padovani lecturer. So let me welcome all of you. You are the future. I am sure that uh, some of you will take the, some place in that tree uh, of very famous and clever people in the future. Thank you for coming. And I hope you are going to enjoy this uh, wonderful Information Theory School 2010. two microphones because uh, one is for up here and one is for the video recording. So let me change the, there we go. So I have some uh, welcome slides too. So first of all, uh, uh, very welcome to all of you and I hope you all made it here well. Um, I have a few things to say for the start of the school. Some of them overlap with what uh, Giuseppe said so it's actually quite good. He saved me a little bit of time. Uh, I wanted to say a few words about uh, the history of the school right at the very beginning. I, I thought about it and I was going to say quite a lot, but I figure that's maybe for another time, so I'll just go um, over the bullet points themselves. So first of all, this school began uh, actually in the early 90s in a way already in Europe. When I was a PhD student there, uh, I began in Europe in 1992 as a PhD student, and I took part in one of a biannual schools of information theory which are still being held in Europe right now 
And I enjoyed that experience so much that that formed one of the two directions that motivated this particular event here. Now, the first and second schools of information theory in the United States were held uh, in the past two years. The first one was held in Penn State University. So Eileen Yener had to do a lot of organization for that, and she did a really fantastic job. Last year, it was at Northwestern University, and uh, there was a whole bunch of folks from the Chicago area, which really did a great job there. And in fact, uh, the number of students grew steadily over the past uh, three years. First, there were 100. Actually, it was 101. And it was 141, so it's very accurate, uh, over, over 100 and 140. This year, as of yesterday, we had had 179 students. And in fact, I had, we had about 245 applicants. Many people couldn't come because of visa problems. Some are stuck in uh, uh, Asia. Some are, oh, I guess, the ones that are stuck are stuck in Asia. They wanted to come. Uh, what's also very important to say is that the IEEE Information Theory Society, through the Board of Governors, has uh, very strongly supported this event right from the very start. So we're very grateful for that. Uh, they've supported it both financially as well as through volunteers. So let me say a few words about the volunteers that Giuseppe didn't have the chance to mention. And that's the local volunteers. Uh, and uh, the two young ladies who did uh, the bulk of the work in terms of food organization, hotel organization, housing, uh, the registration packages you have are Anita Fung and Jerry Lynn Ramos. And I'm not sure if they're in the room or not. But uh, if you do uh, see them outside during the course of the school, feel free to thank them for the time they spent, the effort they spent. It's really been great to work with them uh, in doing this. Uh, then there's a whole bunch of students from across the world who uh, are, have been helping out. You'll, you'll know who they are when you look at their name uh, badge. I hope you all have your badges on. Uh, it'll say University of Southern California. And uh, so I've listed all the people there, uh, Marjan, Osgun, Prasanta, Hassan, Joshua, uh, Songnam, KC, Hoon, Dilip, Zhang, Chi, Chingyi, Chi Ping, Angeliki, Bill, Krishna, Payman, Arash, Rahul, Feng, and Daphne. So if you do uh, see them around, uh, listen to them. They have good advice to give. And uh, 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 if you're happy with the school, thank them at the end. <laughs> I'm sure you will be. Uh, thank you to our organizers. Uh, there's maybe, um, Giuseppe mentioned this. I, do, I put Matthew here at the very top. And I'd like to really uh, emphasize him, because he's been serving this school for the past three years. Uh, he set up the website. He's a real pleasure to work with. He's incredibly responsive. And he, unfortunately, he couldn't make it to any of the three schools, which gives me the advantage of really praising him here. Uh, I, I was really happy that we had him as a, a website manager. Uh, it's made our, my job a lot easier. Uh, another person I'll mention is Alex Demacus. He designed the t-shirts. So you have him to thank, or I guess to blame, if you like or don't <laughs> like him. Uh, instructors, uh, again, thank you. But uh, Giuseppe mentioned that already, so I'll move on in the interest of time. Financial support, so I couldn't re memorize these either, so I wrote them down. <laughs> uh, first of all, a very um, a big thank you for the very four institutions that gave very generous support to the school. The first is the IEEE Information Theory Society, uh, the Army Research Lab. Uh, through the, I guess, related to the Army Research Office, has supported the school in all three years. Um, so we're very, very grateful for that. The National Science Foundation has uh, um, supported the school last year and has increased their funding this year. And uh, another thing you'll hear a little bit about tomorrow is a brand new institute called the USC Ming Xie Institute. Uh, they don't have a web page yet, but they just started. And in fact, they gave a very generous donation to the school, and that's their very first donation they've ever given. <laughs> so it's a very, uh, you're very special in that way. I'm sure you'll hear a lot more about the USC Ming Xie Institute in the future. Uh, then there were, uh, I was very happy to get a lot of other support this year. It's a big list. It's quite a bit larger than it was in past schools, but we went around to ask for money, and people were happy to give, so I was happy about that. First of all, USC Electrical Engineering, uh, Northwestern University Master of Science in Information, in Information Technology program. 
Those of you who are familiar with these institutions will know who we asked for <laughs> to get uh, the funds from. The Rice University Center for Multimedia Communication, Texas A&M, the ECE Department, Penn State, the Networking and Security Research Center, uh, the University of Texas at Austin, the Wireless Networking and Communications Group, an anonymous donation from the University of Notre Dame, uh, Princeton University, and uh, thank you also to Roberto Padovani, who will say a few words in just a second. Uh, something that will interest you, uh, travel support and grants. Uh, so it just mentioned that we're subsidizing, those of you who are staying in the housing, we're subsidizing that. That being said, there will be money left over, not a lot, most likely. We'll have to see when we, uh, after, about a week after the school completes. But I expect there to be 5 to 8K, maybe even a little bit more available. But you have to compute that divided by you know, 179. And that number is not large. So um, what I ask you to do, and I put that in the last bullet, uh, please apply it only if you need it, because that'll help us support those students who really do. Uh, and instructions for applying for these grants will be available um, by a week after the school completes. And we will need receipts. We cannot reimburse you without receipts. OK, some other information, which I meant to pull out. You all received a registration package, let's see here, which I'm sure you've, most of you have looked at, at least of those who were in housing. So it looks like this. There's a whole bunch of uh, important information in there, including a campus map, which I've, uh, I, I scanned this morning and just blew up a little bit. I'll say a little bit more about that in just a second. Um, there's information about restaurants in there, there's safety information and the program, and you even got a USC uh, pen out of this. Uh, for the poster program, please see the website. Um, the wireless is open access, and as Rudy learned just before, you actually have to press a button at the bottom of the web page to get that open access. Uh, food, no food and drinks allowed in this room. Um, I probably shouldn't say this, but you know, water may be OK, but certainly not coffee and pop or anything like that. We don't want to mess things up. Uh, breakfast and coffee uh, are outside. You've already had breakfast, so you know where that will be. Uh, lunch is going to be in front of the electrical engineering building. So let me show you where that is. Uh, we are now here. This is the Sealy G Mud building, and the electrical engineering building is here. Those of you who are staying in housing, that's here. But most of you had pizza last night already, so you know where it is. But the point is, it's not very far to walk. You just walk down this street. It's McClintock Avenue. Here's the parking structure, which you'll see when you go outside there. So you have to head that direction. Okay? It's important that we go relatively on time for lunch, because we only have an hour and 15 minutes for lunch. So there isn't a lot of time there. Uh, dinners are also in front of the EE building, so we'll have a picnic tonight. That starts at 6.45. The poster sessions are supposed to finish at 6. Um, then inside your registration package, you'll, there's a survey sheet. We do ask you to please fill that out. It's very useful to us. There's one um, row for suggested future speakers. In fact, this year's speakers were, I think almost all of them were chosen based on last year's feedback. So the teachers you got were the favorites from uh, the last year combined with the previous years, but primarily based on last year's feedback form. Uh, another thing that Anita pointed, oh, and I also asked the instructors to fill that out too, <laughs> if you can do so, that will be helpful. The, the most interesting things to us are always the comments, so please do feel free to add comments. They sometimes contradict each other, but they're always interesting. Uh, Anita pointed out to me to please take your items from this room. It's not locked, so don't leave your items in here when you leave. That includes lunch as well as in the evenings, so that's important to keep in mind. Uh, that's the map. Um, okay. Oh, did I say something about, uh, no, the posters is still coming. Uh, program over you. Well, I won't say more about that uh, other than today we have the two lectures. Um, the student presentations begin, go from four to six. Uh, one thing I'll quickly say about that, the posters, there will be introductions. So you, before the poster session itself, you will all, those of you, uh, well, everyone's supposed to give a poster, but uh, introduce yourself through a short one-minute slide. 
That will be done in two locations. One is this room here, and the other one is in this building right here. So we're here. So all it is is you walk outside, and it's that building just to the left when you walk outside. Okay, we'll have signs up, so you should be able to find this building very easily. It's on the ground floor, the lecture room. Okay, uh, for tonight, let me repeat that too. Uh, so when the poster session ends at 6, we'll have a picnic in front of the E building. Um, but before that picnic, we'd like to take some, a picture of the group. So what we'll do for that picture is have uh, Bobak, who's sitting at the back. Maybe you can wave. <laughs> He's the designated uh, photographer. Uh, he already did a great job for us four years ago at Berkeley at a workshop. So we're happy to have him again. And that will take place near Tommy Trojan, which is in the middle here. So let's see here. We walk through here. This is where Tommy Trojan is. We may, we may take a picture in this direction or in this direction, depending on uh, Bobak's preferences. But it will be in this area. So what, you ha what you'll have to do is walk out to the track and then just follow this street down. And if it's blocked off, you can walk around through this parking lot in front of the um, bookstore and then come around this way. Otherwise, you'll have to take the detour around. But I, it's, I'm pretty sure you can walk uh, through this parking lot here, past the bookstore, and then around the other side. But uh, you just follow most people. I think that's also a good strategy. <laughs> or, or, or ask people for Tommy Trojan. Everyone knows where that is. Okay, It's right in the middle of campus. But I'll, I'll put this up later again, too. Uh, OK, posters. I already said a few words. Uh, they're in the, the posters will be in the lobby outside, so they're right nearby. Uh, easels, boards, and pins will be provided to you. Um, OK, we did the one minute slide thing. This will be done in the two rooms. Uh, one is here in the other room. And I'll give you some more detailed instructions in the afternoon about that. But do please be prepared immediately after the last lecture this afternoon. Be prepared, those of you who are giving your posters, be prepared to uh, meet right after that second lecture, the, sec the fourth lecture of today. OK, this is the final slide. <clears throat> Just some final instructions for you. We've put this up basically all three years. Uh, the most important thing for you to do here is to participate. And you can participate in several ways. Uh, first, do take the opportunity to uh, get to know and to learn from our four lecturers. So Jack, Andrea, Emmanuel, Alon, Sergio, and Rudiger, and also the other faculty in, in attendance. You have the great. Uh, um, advantage of having two uh, Shannon lectures, giving lectures to you here. And maybe even there's a chance, I think there's a good chance that perhaps even six Shannon lectures in the future. <laughs> um, please do learn from each other, get to know each other, uh, make new friends. That's one of the reasons I hope you're here. Uh, encourage each other as well, especially during the posters. And what I emphasized here, I had a few questions about this. Actually, quite a few people were young students who don't yet have mature research uh, results, and they were worried about presenting here. And I told them that's fine if they just reviewed an area. So I think that's important for you to keep in mind. Uh, there's, all of you are at different levels uh, in, your, uh, in learning and in doing research. So please uh, be gentle and uh, be, con be considerate of uh, other people. But do encourage each other. I think that's, that's one thing you should be here for, too. During the lectures, please ask a lot of questions. The last two years, I always had to do the starting. I always had to start the questions. And I think I was being very obnoxious. And I'd prefer not to be the only one being obnoxious. So please do ask <laughs> questions. I hope some of, my, uh, some of the uh, senior faculty will help me out in doing that if everyone else is too shy. But especially with Jack, I think he's very happy to get questions. It makes, your, it makes the lectures much more interesting, I mean, to be able to interact uh, with you. <laughs> so, so, so Jack asks for gentle questions. But you, I, I say you can be a little less than just gentle. I think you can handle it. <laughs> anyway, they, they do love to get questions. And you're going to get their attention. So that's another uh, advantage you get out of, out of that. Uh, but most importantly, please do enjoy your time here. We're, we are happy you're here. We ha we're happy to see the great interest. And uh, the Information Theory Society is as well. So, And I hope you'll join the Information Theory Society uh, in your future, perhaps already now as student members. 
um, but also in the future. So uh, with that, uh, I will give the podium to Roberto, who will introduce Jack. If I do this, yeah, oh, both. Fine. Yeah, because one is for the speaker and one is oh. for the video. Okay, then let's do this. 